Hi, it's Christina Giuseppe here with Celebrity Jabber, and I am in beautiful West Hollywood, California at Round Burger, sitting next to Olympic gold medalist Tyler Clary. Hey, Tyler! <laughs> so excited to have you here. I mean, what a beautiful day, yes? Oh, it's a fantastic day. I was talking about it with my girlfriend on the way down here. It's nice. an absolutely amazing day. I don't think there's a whole lot I could change. <laughs> Do you like to swim in like beach water? Or is there a difference like when you're like in a pool, lap pool? Oh, I would much rather be out surfing than training nice. any day. But you know, that's it's the training that's gotten me where I am. Got you, got you. All right, so we're gonna get into this. London's over. People are going back home, doing their thing. Do you still have that spirit, that that feeling, that present moment when you want? Oh yeah, and, and the crazy thing is, I mean, uh, Aaron Pearsall, he's, he used to be the king of backstroke, that's what he was known about, or known as, and he came up to my parents after I won, and he was like, you know, what the gravity of what you, he just did won't even process in his mind for another six months, and I can totally see that. I mean, I'm only starting to get an inkling of what's going on when I go home, and people are so excited to see me after what happened, it's just, it's very mind-blowing. And but do you feel like there's a difference between who you are on a normal basis or as an Olympian? I guess I guess people now more know the, the Olympian, okay. you know, it's general knowledge, but you know, I'm I'm more proud of who I am as a person than, than you know what I've done in the pool. And right, right. I think uh, I think over the next four or five years, people are going to see a little more of that. Okay, and so are you going to train again to head to Brazil, or are we going to? The plan right now, yes, is actually to train through 2016 and call that wow. call that my last Olympics, and then uh, you know soon after, I'm actually working on getting into auto racing as a career. I want to be a race car driver. What? Yeah. So. Wait a minute. From gold medalist to race car driver. Wait, we're going to get the scoop right now. Explain this. <laughs> so. I've been around. I've been around auto racing for a long time, and um, you know, it's always always been something I've wanted to do is drive. But obviously, because of swimming, I never have had the, the ability or opera, um, I'm sorry, opportunity until now. And now that you know, people have heard my story a little more. There have been some opportunities that are coming up for me to actually get into race cars wow. and go test for people and do okay. things like that. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm actually. Planning on doing a racing school later this year. So, can we, Celebrity Jabber, be there when your first sort of uh, lap turn or whatever it's called? Excuse me, I don't know, but well, I, I want to see this. I actually, I, see this. I actually am headed to North Carolina tomorrow to uh, meet with a NASCAR team, and they may wow. or may not be putting me in one of their cars. So. Oh, okay. So you're not sure. You're yeah, not, not sure. sure quite yet, but I, I will definitely, definitely let you guys know when uh, awesome. the first race is in Skip Barber. Did you hear that? He's gonna let us know first. <laughs> What sparked that interest, though, from like swimming to race car driving? I've just always been, always been around it. Okay. I mean, ever since I was a little Is kid. It the adrenaline and. Definitely the adrenaline. I've, I've been described several times as an adrenaline junkie, oh. so that's, I'm sure that's part of the drive. What is it to train though for the Olympics? Like, what does that mean? Like, what is the mind set for that? I mean, to, to me, it was just, it wasn't even necessarily training for the Olympics per se. It was just, it was training to get myself up to that, that next level. And obviously I came so close in 2008 and this time around, it, it things just obviously went a lot better. And it was just always, you know, focusing on what can I do to get myself past, past where I was, make the next step. It was always that kind of a mindset. Do you have like a routine or, or something you do before you step into the game and, and, and you know, sort of, do you have a, a thought or action that you do before you step into the arena? I mean, there's, I always do my normal warm up, which I mean, isn't anything necessarily habitual, but it's, I just warm up until I feel good and then I get out. But the, the thing is that that's usually kind of a superstition before my race is all, what is I'll it? put my, I'll just put my headphones on and, and jam out to whatever music kind of piques my interest at that point. And okay. I'll, I'm glad none of the cameras have caught it yet, but I'll do oh, some really? goofy dancing back in the ready room. Wait, wait, goofy like dancing? <laughs> let's do goofy dancing. Oh, there's no way. Come on. Absolutely Come, Let's not. just do like a robot thing. You I tell you it, what, you bring, bring the camera into the ready room next time and you'll see. Oh, <laughs> did you hear that? Wait, am I allowed to go in there? I, I'm assuming you can okay. get a media badge. That's awesome. <laughs> well, as a girl, though, isn't it like all male? Like, uh, oh, no, the, a re the ready room is for, for, oh, for everyone. Yeah, it's, okay. it's the room we're in right before we walk out to compete. I was hoping you'd say it was the male locker room, but that's a whole different thing. That's a whole the different truth thing. comes out. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Where are your gold? Uh, by the way, I know this may sound weird, but can I feel Yeah, sure. Is it, oh, it is heavy. They're always saying it's heavy. Okay. 
I, I guess it's the, the heaviest Olympic medal in history. Oh, why is that? I, they just keep getting bigger, really? I guess. They're yeah. going to be like, like those big... Like, Flava Flav Flav medals Flav. Flav. Wow. <laughs> that, if, you, if you got like 12 of those, that might be difficult to be wearing. Yeah. So. And what do you do when you're off on your off time? Like, what's the fun things that you do? Oh, man. It depends, depends on my mood that day. Sometimes I'll just I'll enjoy sitting around playing video games all day, or I'd like to go take my car out and do some off-roading. Okay. Go to the local kart racing track and mess around there for a while. It just there's any number of things that could be going. On. Well, let's tell our celebrity jabber audience where we can find you if you want to tell them on camera. Celebrity jabber, you can follow me on Twitter at, at Tyler Clary. At Tyler Clary. Well, there you go. We are gonna probably go in and grab a bite to eat, but uh, we'll check you guys out later.